Okay, so um, I'm, I've been pretty good and I've, I've gotten a lot of work done this week. So I'm finally letting, I'm, I'm finally letting myself look at uh, a job lot of watches that I got in. <clears throat> and so, so this is it. This is the first time I really get to see them. So, da 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 da, da boink. <clears throat> Somebody had a suggestion a couple months ago, talking about, you know, maybe looking into this stuff, because I had said that, you know, truthfully, that I, I don't really know a whole lot about this era of uh, Seiko's, you know, chronographs, this, the, the different, the different variations. And so I just, I had that sort of as an idea in the back of my mind. And then I was just, I was looking on eBay for something else. And I came across, uh, I, I came across uh, Ramon's listings and I looked and he had, I was looking through his different things <clears throat> and I was, I, I was looking at this lot and I, I said, oh my goodness, I know what that is. And it's not like it was really hidden, but I, I was, I was really interested in one of these watches, but I was teetering on the edge of still of not buying it until I saw another one of the watches. And I was like, is that really what I think that is? Not that it's like, you know, buried amazing treasure. It's just stuff that I had been interested in. So, <clears throat> without further ado, I don't know. The, the one that I saw was this right here. This is a... I'm like, why is everything upside down? Okay, let's go. <clears throat> These are really cool. Yeah, 1759. These are one one hundredth seconds. This upper register right there goes. I was like, oh, that's cool. This and what's it? I mean, it's the the all stainless one. <clears throat> I had the gold-plated one, but this is the one that I really wanted. That that is a badass watch. That is that is legitimately cool. I have no idea if it's alive. I, I suspect it's going to be rough, but you know, I think that'd be fun because we're talking about you know what's a new frontier for me? Learning how to you know work with these these later pieces. Now that we're getting into that, don't look bad. <clears throat> Let me find a battery. It literally, the correct battery was literally the last packet I was getting. It should have, should have been a lot faster than that. Oh, God darn it, my knee. Ah, oh, yes, my pretty. Yeah, I know this is kind of rough surgery here, so, you know, cut me some slack. It's not like this. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't look bad. Man, I thought this thing was just going to be a rusted heap of crap. I mean, I should have had more faith. I mean, just based on the fact that it's complete and it has the original bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm shorting out the battery. I don't Get off my back. No, I hope I chose wisely. Hmm? Come on. Ugh. Dang. Okay, well, I have a battery and I actually did get the wrong one, but it's because I got one that was t not as tall as it needed to be. Okay, so we got to do us the AC, which is you do the the brain reset. Let's see if I can see what the heck I'm doing before I reset this thing. Assuming that it's doing anything, I have no idea what I'm going to find when we turn this thing over. Maybe it's going to be working, maybe not. No idea. Okay. 
going on there? Or do I have it upside down? Do I have it upside down? Or do I have this wrong way? Oh, de Dios. Where am I putting my brain this time? I swear it was like this, because I just moved it sideways. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I see. It's spring presses against the case back. I see. Okay, like I said, I have no idea. I have not tested this. I've been really get, been doing my delayed gratification thing. <clears throat> Days of waiting. No idea. I expected this to be dead. <laughs> it kind of looks like it might be. What? It's doing something, hmm? I'm going to have to look up the instructions for this thing. They used that handset. Um, a bunch of stuff. I, I have, I'm sure I've got ones that are perfect. <clears throat> Dowlin doesn't look bad. Oh yeah, that's right. It's got, it's got the independently settable yeah, that's right. These things are cool. Come on, baby. You know you wanna. Nude. It's thinking something. I bet you if I get in there and I goose it just a little bit, I bet that might start thinking. Okay, so let's stop it. No, wait. Doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, I'm flummoxed. Okay, I'm gonna resist the urge to rip in this thing right now, but that gives me a lot of hope. But these are cool. Um this era, this this 90s era, I think these were 90s. You know, it's got like, you know, the nice high polish uh, ring rim there around these uh, slightly differently colored sub dials. It's just, a, it's a badass watch. And these, these are, those are engraved in. And this is actually kind of like the, the Mark, what is that thing? The, the, which one is the German Speedmaster? Is that the Mark V? Solid stainless bracelet. Stainless steel, Japan. Ooh, I didn't look at my serial number. Hmm. 3420. Hmm. Okay, that's neat. All right, well, we've got one success. That's super cool. Here is the other one. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This was off in the corner up in the pictures, and I'm like, wait a minute. That, that is one of, like, that's like the first first, isn't it? And I was looking at this. This is one of the first, first, first ones that Seiko came out with these LCDs. And I, I, I didn't think that I was going to, I don't, I saw it and I'm like, gosh, I'd stopped thinking about them because, um, I didn't imagine I'd ever come across one. But look at this one, it, it's like it has almost no miles on it. Unfortunately, we can see we've got the, you know, crystals in there, the electrolytes. Um, and it looks like we've got some real delamination going on in there. I don't know, um, I, I'm not hopeful again. I bought this entire lot assuming it was gonna be junk. These were really expensive in their day. Really expensive. It's it's hard to really tell, but it's got like these really cool flush mounted um, buttons, which is pretty neat. It's 
It's got nice case lines. Look at the vertical brushing. I'm going to have to look and see what kind of... Uh, kind of bracelet this thing had I bet it was just nuts and I bet it was beautifully made wow I'm just going to be super super excited to just find out what is inside this watch well uh, let me look at it right quick um, it looks to me like it might have been opened at one point but the, the, the that's all filled with goo in there. Dun, 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 don't rust. Come on, baby. You know it. Come on. Oh, I'm going to have to really lean on this thing. I noticed, by the way, this is the, that's the orientation pin, locking pin, to make sure the case back gets snapped on in the right position. It's rusty. I'm, I'm sure this is just like paradise inside. Hang on. Okay. I got the back popped off. That took some persuasion, but I did it. So I have not looked. I don't know what I'm going to find in here. Nah. And look at that. It's been surfaced. Three fourteen eighty three. H O Anybody can read that? Anyway. This thing got serviced in 1983. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, that is certainly not going to respond to <clears throat> uh, any battery efforts. Um, I mean, I've had, I've had ones that were <laughs> this bad, but, uh, and I've gotten them sometimes to display some life. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what's going to come with this one. I'd love to get it running. Uh, that would be really cool. Yeah, man. Look at that stuff. Well, okay, let me put this to one side. It's, I don't know, it's, it's both worse than I was fearing and better than I hoped. I'll play with it. We'll see. That thing, man. That's that's a thing. Ooh, did I see a twitch from there down below? That's probably split time. Hmm. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I never did do wrist check. Trusty Omega on this one. 6139, 6009. Notch resist. Uh, this is the model that I, I'm i the one that proved that this was an actual model. Though this one went through... through uh, <clears throat> Just a few minutes behind. Oh, well, I'm gonna check that. It's out of sync, I better check that. I mean, it agrees with this, I mean, those are the same. I'll look at that in a sec. Anyway, but this one went through um, Seiko service, and, uh, and at that time they did, they put in a replacement, um, uh, a service suite. But it's a nice watch, look at that loom, it's all original. And I, and I like, actually, I prefer the look of the, the, the second type hand. I think it's easier to read and I just think it's better, but the iconic 6139, 6009 should have the two piece hand. Uh, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> hmm, one tenths. 
So that's actually, that's counting like a 61, no, 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 like a 7A, right? Looks like we lost us a crown. Nice sword hands. In fact, look at that sweep hand too, because the sweep hand is nice and flat too. That's nice. Hmm. Sort of a egg crate waffly thing on the dial. Any cool number? 82, 82, 17, 27. Well, it rolls off the tongue nicely. That's pretty cool. What is, uh, it's a V657. Isn't that the same as, isn't that one of the ones that was used in the um, Italian chronographs? I don't remember. <clears throat> oh yeah, the glorious 90s with that just beautiful base metal bezel. It just looks like, looks like swamp things. Well, I was going to say something quite rude, but out of respect to our overseas or more faint of heart listeners, I will refrain. Hmm. Definitely like, like a 90s watch. Like the dial though, actually. The dial's nice. 762. What's our number? 710591. Eh, it's not bad. Kind of a nice bracelet. I don't know what I think about that. It's too wide for me. I don't like heavy ones like that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Felt the need to tape this together. 1792. Well, I even if I was down for this, I couldn't I couldn't have anything to do with this watch. Those are those are for American football. That those are Dallas Cowboy colors. And Dallas Cowboy colors and I will I I can barely stand to look at them. I was sitting there looking at the dial really closely and it's like that specific metallic shimmer anthracite gray and that kind of blue. Oh, cowboys. I hope Dallas does become a two-team city. They should be the Dallas Compadres. That's, that's what we need. Okay, so I've never actually owned one of these and I didn't even think about this. I didn't even notice it in the in the in the auction. This is one of them their flight masters. Yes, I'm asking. C yeah, 734. 7346 A09. 061932. Yeah, this one got some water in it. And that's for darn sure. I like the handset. Oh, I see. They were going for this old school, like nautical thing. The gold and the, the blue looks like gun bluing on the hands. It isn't, but it looks nice. I love that sweep hand. That sweep hand's cool. I can't even imagine what's inside this thing. But you know, look, it's I mean, it's warm, but it's like it got beat hard and fast and. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would guarantee that that's not a runner. I mean, I'll, I'll look at it, but not only did it get water in it, it had, this is all battery acid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Hmm. But, you know, the thing is, the dial and the hands and everything are there, and it is, I could reset these things. I do like the, um... <clears throat> I do actually like the stacked depth of the tile. Those sort of, those deep layers, it's 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 interesting that it's it's done in such a stepped way. It almost looks like a, a seat around a pool, right? You know, like water in the pool and you sit around and everybody talk about things. Waiting for my mother to start telling hot tub anecdotes. Yeah. 
and in this era too, Seiko was really down for the solid links. Yeah, I'll poke at this one. I'll be curious to see what I can do. I'll have to look and see about that insert. I can do, I can abide by many things, but I this that amount of wear in the insert that's too much for me. Can't take it. Can't take it. <clears throat> And it looks like we have the last two entries or two of these diddlies. What these came out, what, a few years? God, look at the size of this thing. This was at the height of Seiko, like, trying to produce these, like, monstrosities. Yeah. That's not bad, but it's still way too big. Man, I couldn't wear anything this big. Not anymore, unless it was a big diver. 175157. That's eh, kind of a cool number. 175157. Yeah, because it, it's kind of like an infinity. It goes whoop, whoop. I like the big buttons. Oh, look, it's got an old stool, like old style Seiko crown. Hmm. 6138 style. Except sort of bigger, but that's what it took the cue from. Yeah, you got that's just it's ridiculous how freaking big that is. That's just silly. Silly, not silly. Uh, and then the last one. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it's probably the roughest of them. This one looks like it got worked. Nice big fingerprint on there. Yeah. Baby. I am... I'm not sure, actually. I mean, it's dirty, but... It doesn't look bad. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not... I'm not a, a gambling man. Nor am I a rambling man. And I, th I think I'm going to be... Yeah, I don't want to start this thing up anyway because it's got all these pieces rolling around the inside. Look, those are the loom plots off the top of these. Bouncing around the inside, sitting over there with the uh, the sweep hand there. Eh, dial doesn't look bad. Hands don't look bad. I reattach those loom bits and get one a, a new rotating ring. I mean, it's still beat up a bit, but... It's not bad. <laughs> well, I think that's a pretty good haul. So it's going to be fun to play with these. And I, I really am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be cool. Um, let's throw one last thing. I'm thinking about um, finally doing for this. I could never... These came... Uh, with a with a black bracelet, and they're just impossible to find. And I don't like PVD bracelets in any way; they wear badly. So I've never done anything with this watch because I could never figure out what to wear it on. But since it's got a Mac V type dial, by the way, maybe maybe we should start like a surreptitious like movement to substitute Mac V dial, meaning. Arabic numerals. So instead of saying Arabic numerals, we can say the Mac V dial. They mean the exact same thing. I don't know. Anyway. So, oh, but I found this. Uh, I got this. Oh, God, military surplus. I don't even know how long ago. But I think it actually looks rather nice on that, don't you? Come on, baby. There she blows. I love this. It has this ever so slight radium tan. This is a cool watch. This is the one that is made of aircraft aluminum. It's got this weird case code. It's like anti-magnetic. This is the only case that I was able to find ever listed that had this symbol. Seiko doesn't even mention it. Hang on. It's a 7,009, 9,000... It's A-L-H is the case. The case is A-L-H. And it's this aircraft aluminum. I don't know what it is. But I'll service that one up. I think that looks nice. 
Alrighty. I think that's it for the evening. Don't think about questions. Okay. Okay, so I am making progress. I got the top register to go. Look at that thing. Isn't that awesome? Wait, how do you stop this thing? Yeah, I want to get off that ride. Um, I am still figuring out the rest of this, but it looks like it's got some life. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to see if I can program it properly and get other things to move. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty neat. Just wanted to give you an update. Okay.